All right, and with us next is Carlos Jimenez, the husband. <laughs> Um, my name is Carlos. Um, so from the time I can remember, um, I was in church. Um, my family brought me up in church, so I knew of God and of the Bible and of the stories of the Bible. I knew of Christ's work on the cross and his love and forgiveness. In the sight of many, I was a Christian and a good guy. I did the things Christians did. I went to church, read my Bible every now and then, which was very seldom at the time. Um, I didn't do drugs, didn't smoke, stay out of trouble for the most part. So in the world's eyes, I was a Christian. Um, in Christ's eyes, though, I was a liar, an adult's red heart, sexually immoral, a murderer at heart, a thief, an idolater, a prideful, um, you name it, and I was it. Yet there was nothing that would have told me that I was not saved because I believed in God. I had said the prayer several times. I had rededicated my life to Christ many times. I cried about it, so it had to be real. I made myself believe that it was. That was the source of my salvation and not Christ. You know, so for the sake of time, I'll fast forward to my coming to Cornerstone. Um, I came here and went through the motions. I became involved. I started going to group. Got discipled by Brother Mike Dinger. Shared the gospel with others when I should have started with me first. I gained a lot of knowledge of Christ and of the Word of God, but none of it had any effect on my heart. I was still the same person as before. I was still angry, prideful, and idolater. I saw some changes in my life, so that assured me of my salvation. I had turned faith and repentance into a work, something that I had to do just to get saved. Christ had nothing to do with it. I began to have issues with assurance. My marriage was failing. My son hated me and feared me. I knew there was a problem but was too prideful to seek any help. I finally agreed to get counseled by Pastor Charlie. I thought that my wife was definitely the problem, but to my surprise, it was obviously me. I hated the person I had become. Um, I came to the hardest realization during this time that I was not saved. For the first time, sin against my sin against God was real. Hell became real. I had broken his laws and knew that the only penalty was hell. If I had died during that time, I would have surely gone to hell, and rightly so. I had nothing left I could rely on but Christ. There was nothing I could do that could earn his favor. There was a very low moment for me, uh, a, a low moment, but a place he had to take me. I was broken and hopeless. It caused me to rely on Christ and Christ alone. His work on the cross, on the cross excuse me, now meant something different to me. I had heard it many times, but now it was real to me. I could understand the sacrifice that was made, God stepping down from his throne and dying for me. I understood what him dying for my sins actually meant. The idol I had created was gone. Now through Christ I stand here a changed man, grateful, thankful, and humble. My relationship with Christ has changed and so has my relationship with sin. I'm changed not from anything that I did, but what Christ has done. Yeah.